Hi there, it's Joseph here at Edge Dynamics making another show video on another Sunday and I should have worn sunglasses. I've got extra lighting to stop the strobing and I don't know how that's going to show uh, on the final cut once it's been processed and that but we'll find out. Um, just don't look over there, I don't need to. Right, so <laughs> the razor, a uh, bit of a story with this one. And it could be quite a sad story, so let's get some of this dust off there. Is the um, Bradford. And I'll show you the razor here. And I did the, finish the blade off yesterday. A bit of grind marks there. I can't, uh, if I gave more time, I could. I've got two of these. <coughs> the second one doesn't have the markings. It's the exact same razor, same shape and everything. Um, and these razors, um, well, I should say the second one, I need to make a wedge. So it's in the workshop, ready to go. Just need, I just need to make the wedge. But the scales, you can see, um, it's brass lined tortoise. And it's totally beautiful. That brass shining through the tortoise get a bit of that light on it it's not going to work but um and basically these were all gunked up and <clears throat> there was green and black and mold and god knows what in there so i took them apart and i've cleaned up the brass and the brass lining i really say it's their brass scales because they're it's flat on the inside but like domed on the outside so they really are the scales and I assume they heated it and then dropped the, uh, the tortoise on there to mould around it but unfortunately I've hit some, a few issues last night um, while I was honing it some water got in there I don't know if you can see just about there there's a stain the water got inside between the scales and the brass and it was that was just my heart sank when that happened but um I mean it's it's tight all the way around the brass is really tight to the tortoise apart from up here so I'm thinking on ways of sealing uh, I'll seal all around the edges to make it watertight airtight to make sure no water can ever get between these um, and if I didn't mention it's lacquered I've lacquered the brass so the brass will always have that shine it will never go dull or you know how brass tarnishes it will always stay shiny but another issue that I ran into last night when I was honing it was under the microscope I noticed um, like rainbow colours on the bevel and because someone had had to go at this before me so I mean there was lots of rust and stuff but back in the day someone had had a go at this so I'm thinking that the rainbow colours at the time I was thinking it's probably oil but now I'm thinking what if um, the temper's gone whoever you know had it on a grinder back in the day um, ruined it so I mean I don't know if you can see the bevel it's the bevel is super fine and straight really is nice and by design of course um, so I've got a feeling that it's not going to shave at all and it's completely knackered and all I can do is save the scales for some other special razors um, and just to take these apart to to get rid of that water stain, take off the tarnish, redo everything, 
uh, pin it and then seal it and that's quite that's a big job so this is a project these things but um if it shaves I'll be over the moon but tell you the truth the more I think about it the more I think that the steel is completely knackered um, the tang stamp it says uh, Bradford number 10 Main Street I think it says Main Street jeez that sound got me right in the eye yeah number 10 Main Street Clonmel and Clonmel is a town in Southern Ireland in uh, Tipperary, the county of Tipperary and I got that off Google as you would have guessed but um, yeah I th at first I thought it was Joseph Bradford because I thought that's all there was was Joseph Brad Bradford but a bit more research and I found out that Joseph Bradford was uh, 1788 a cutler and then after him his family um, I might be wrong I think it was Richard Bradford's and there was like three or four of them so this is later so I don't think it's Joseph Bradford um, if I'm right it would uh, Richard's it's, it's would be a Richard Bradford because um, I don't think they was doing this sort of thing back in the uh, late 1700s and if it doesn't work I've got a backup there which I'm pretty sure it's not going to work but you guys would know that once again because you've seen the opening and let's get some hot water so if it shaves I'll be over the moon but Got to be realistic. Um, actually, it reminds me of um, painting and decorating. Because when you do painting and decorating, you're mainly fixing someone else's work. And that's what's going on with these razors. I'm trying to fix what someone else did. cream I'm using is this stuff and I've not had much success with this one to tell you the truth it's the menthol and, uh, there's the lid and I've used it two or three times I think and not been impressed but uh, it's Probably down to my lathering skills because I know it's, uh, it's really popular and considered a high quality cream. So, yes, um, well, that's meant to, it's really like, it's more like camphor. Oh, oh, he's off. Yes. The dog is now part of Edge Dynamics. Actually, I just going to say it's actually looking pretty good. I've added some water and it's just turned to slop. Uh, try and get it back to that consistency and funny enough I've set up the lights in and now the sun's come out so I probably didn't need it right no more messing about no more chit chat let's find out um, there's no oil on this it did have wax on it, which I wiped it off. Now, let's see, and actually, considering these are brass, the weight is pretty good. I would have thought this would be unusable, really, but. completely wrong 
That must have been oil. Yeah, that's uh, quite nice. But now, I, now I'm feeling the weights of the brass, and it does have some bearing. Got to be a little bit more thoughtful. But yeah, that's shocking actually because when I set the bevel or started working on the bevel and I looked under the scope, what I saw, I mean, forget about the rainbow colours, um, the way the apex looked to me, it was a bit too good, a bit too straight. So this is like quality, quality steel. And that's off to Ireland and the Irish. Conor McGregor, if he's watching as well, I'm a big fan. Yeah, this is lovely. to use epoxy but like use my new amounts with like a needle and just try and get it in the gap where well, there's no gap but just try and seal where the the brass meets the tortoise because I mean these will sell on my website one day it could be 10 years from now but Whoever gets them, they don't want to have shade and see water, you know, between there, because that's it. We know how much damage water can do. Got to be sealed, something I never thought about when I was doing this, but I've never worked on uh, something like this before. I've, I've worked with tortoise and I've... I will say that the tortoise to me is the pinnacle. Um, reason is, is because I've got so much ivory. It's just not rare to me, but. I mean, uh, <laughs> all right, let's put it this way. There's pros and cons with everything. I mean, Oxhorn, you can't really mess with that stuff. Uh, ivory is something really special, bone is special, um, but it's the rarity of a uh, tortoise. So I had a pair of scales on my site before, a pair of scales, sorry, I had a pair of razors. Um, with tortoise uh, tortoise shell scales, the Giles, which I recently sold. And those were quite unique because I've never seen tortoise that thick before. Um, and it had no lining, it was just pure tortoise. Um, I've got another tortoise one, <clears throat> but I don't think I'll ever sell that one. It's um, because it's really special razor. It's a uh, Charles Pickley, and it's brass lined, but it's just flat brass. Um, but the the uh, tortoise has been pressed. I mean, you'd assume carved, but it must have been pressed. It's really intricate, and it's a beautiful shape. And and up by the um, up in this area here, there's a this part is missing. And I've been thinking about it for some years about how I'm going to fix that. But I'm in no rush to 
to mess about with it because I'm, I'm, I will always be mine. But, <coughs> excuse me, the um, thing about it is, is the razor itself is like, I'd have to say, exquisite. So, I mean, they didn't use tortoise on them and junk, you know, you're not going to see a gold dollar with tortoise. I'm not saying gold dollars are junk, so I've actually never shaved with one, so. Who am I to judge? Yeah, this is showing good. I just wish I would have oiled the blade now, but saying that, I gave it a mirror finish. So there's no, you're not going to get any stain in. And I've learned a few new tricks giving this a mirror finish. Because it seems every time I do my super technique, I have to, you know, do it differently. It's not like, like this is how you do it, and you do this for that long. And, but yesterday, I think I uh, leveled up a bit. I did, but <coughs> did both the blades. I gave them a nice mirror. is amazing. Um, I gave it a full Nagora progression and I did it on the Maruka I did have another razor to hone which was a backup and I had it out in that but I sat there and because the water had got in the scars and this I just sat there holding that razor is like in shock at the possibility of all the work I'm going to have to do to unpin it. <clears throat> and uh, so I didn't own it, I thought, oh, no, I can't. I thought I need to clean up and pack up and reassess because everything sort of, sort of went wrong last night. Or so I thought, well, but this shaves, so the steel is good, the steel's very good. Um, I couldn't be more happy with that. Beautiful. And the wedge. You see the wedge? The wedge on this one isn't perfect. There's like a bit of a gap on one side, kind of, where it slims out. So when I take this apart, I will I will straighten that. Um, and what, how I'll make the wedge for the other one is um, with a fishing tackle or that is just beyond nice. Um, I use lead weights. Go to a fishing tackle shop, ask them for lead weights. They'll tell you how they're illegal, but they've probably still got some. And they're really malleable. So, but it's not, it's not super easy to do that. So it has to be the perfect fit and then go into the razor. You can't mess with it once it's in. So, but man. That's really good. Yeah, I can't believe that. And I could take a nice photo of that. Although you guys would have seen that at the beginning and you'd know that it worked in that. I was extremely doubtful. Uh, I'll just go with the Carolite face cream because this is the stuff. Just the smell of it. And I don't need a balm, I don't need anything. Right, that's it. 
uh, seems to have gone really quickly this shave I hope it comes out all right on the uh, on YouTube and uh, thanks for watching see you next time bye